After all the sweat, blood, and many, many, MANY tears, I have finally completed the entire classic event. And after doing all this grinding, I can safely say that this event is dog shit. A few months ago, whenever I made my review on the hunt, I was holding back a lot of the things I wanted to say, but for this event, mm, I, I, I'm not holding back. So, here is my review on the classic event. So, let's start with the positives. The hub is absolutely amazing. I love that the hub has a lot of cool little secrets and has many areas you can explore. I love that you can earn items to use on other players, such as rockets or bombs. I love that they integrated quests with the hub, so you can actually earn some of the rewards without having to play the other games. That is huge. That adds just another extra layer of fun. It is awesome. They did a fantastic job. This kind of hub style needs to be done for all the other future events. Events. Bravo Roblox, you did a good job. Next up, let's talk about the items. I think the items in this event are awesome. I love all of them. I think they did a great job. They look good. They have a nice nostalgic feel to them. And I think these items look better than the ones we got for the hunt. It's really nice getting good looking items that are able to fit properly on R6 avatars. So good job. I love the classic theme and I love that they chose it for this event. It was really cool seeing all the old items and builds again. I would love to get a sequel to this event that is done properly. So um, that is where my compliments pretty much end. Everything else I don't like. So <laughs> let's begin. The worst thing about this stupid event is the games. Why would you create a classic event and put zero classic games in it? Maybe except Bee Swarm. I can understand Bee Swarm and maybe Arsenal, but the rest, no. What about Natural Disaster Survival, Work at a Pizza Place, Flood Escape, Sword Fight on the Heights, Speed Run 4, Tornado Alley, etc. This would have been the perfect time to put all those games into an event. But no, instead they pick Toilet Tower Defense and Blade Ball. They missed out on such a huge opportunity to bring these games back into spotlight and actually make a classic themed event. And they killed a lot of hype I had for the event because they did not pick anything classic at all. So let's just move past them not picking any classic games, okay? Fine, they couldn't pick any classic games, whatever. So out of all the games on Roblox, why in the world did they pick some of the worst games to be on this hunt? Why is Toilet Tower Defense back? Everyone hated that game from the hunt, but they bring it back. Why is Adopt Me here? Or Blade Ball? Or Restaurant Tycoon? Like, they could have picked any other game on the platform, and it would have been a better experience. The game selection makes no sense at all. I will be making a tier list video on all these games soon, so if you want to hear my complaints about each game, check out that video once it comes out. I'm going to tear those games apart. So this kind of ties in with the games, but with this event, they only chose 15 games instead of 100. I don't really care about this. It doesn't rub me the wrong way, or I don't think it's better. I just, I, I'm neutral about it. However, I do think it conflicts with a lot of things. Now, now, I don't know if this is because the amount of badges each game was given or the fact that there were only 15 games, but the tasks or challenges you do in these games are very long and very tedious. It was taking me usually around two to three hours just to get a game finished. And that was if I was going on good pace. And with this event being really short, it felt like you had to grind super hard and fast in order to actually get everything done. Usually I have a really good time grinding out events, but this one just felt like pure torture. With the games being extremely long and boring, to the tasks and missions just being horrible to do, and with the event just being short, it overall felt like such a chore to get through. Another random thing I would like to complain about is the items that are launched from devs, star creators, and admins. I don't really mind the devs and star creators. I have heard that some devs were actually scamming people with the items, so that should definitely be looked into. But I always hate it when they give the admins these launchers because they barely give them out. I had to spend eight hours of my life trying to get this stupid cake top hat, which looks amazing by the way, but there'd be times where I would search through all 2,000 Roblox admins and not a single one would be online giving them away. The star creators and devs seemed like they were always giving them out and you didn't have to spend hours trying to get those two items. You could just join a queue and get it within 10 minutes. But with the admin one, it was, it was a completely different story. I don't want them to get rid of the launchers, but I feel like they should exclude admins from it. They never give it out and when you try to join their game, it, 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 it's, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. It sucks. Now this kind of ties in with some of the complaints I had earlier, but I hate the length of the event. I think the event should definitely last longer, especially with the games taking hours to get through. Now, if you're just trying to get all the items and not 100% the event, then you can definitely get all of them on time very easily. You don't have to beat that many games to get all the tokens, and you can also do the quest instead of doing the games. But if you're going to complete the event, you're going to be pressed for time because they do not give you that much at all. So 
if you have school or work going on while this event's happening, you're pretty much screwed. Originally, this is where my complaints were going to end. I thought I had everything I had to say, but uh, <laughs> it just gets worse. So today, the Tix machine finally filled up in the hub, and where the duck was, a bunker opened, and it led to a boss fight. Now, the fight was not anything special, but it was cool, and it was just, it was, I, don't see, it was, I don't know, it was really nostalgic and pretty neat. But when you start the boss fight, there's a little sword you have to pull out, and it, it's teased as that sword is going to be like a free item you get after doing the boss fight. And so, you complete the boss fight, and you don't get the free item. Instead, what happens is that on the side of your screen, the sword is there, and you have to buy it for 40 thousand robux so you're telling me the whole community gathered together to fill up this text machine just to unlock the ability to buy a sword for 40,000 robux that's like what around 300 or 400 dollars like what a kick in the nuts how stupid is that that makes no sense i'm assuming they'll just release some more free items once it gets closer to ending but what they did is just so disrespectful and trash it makes no sense whatsoever we did all this stuff we had the whole community come together to fill up this stupid machine just to get freaking ripped off pathetic just so stupid i mean it wouldn't be a roblox event without them pulling something out of their sweaty little goblin mouths at the very end to try to get as many people as possible to spend their money on their sword but no they did it they did it just a joke what a what a joke i probably missed a few things i don't know i, I i'm just mad I am completely disappointed. I think this is the worst event Roblox has ever had. I hate it so much. I'd do anything than this event. The hunt was just mid. This event is just bad. Not fun. It just sucks. I'll be making a tier list video soon. So that's where I'll complain about the games. I, I don't have any more to say. Um, It sucks shit.